adrenaline junkies out there. If you've ever wanted to try skydiving, this is about as close as it gets without leaving off the ground an airplane. ABC 2's Adrian Green is at iFly Baltimore to show us the new indoor skydiving facility. Adrian, you're going to fly this morning? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be so much fun here this morning. Uh, I can't wait until you guys see me get in this thing later on. But right now I've got Chris Reynolds with me. He is a lead flight instructor here at the iFly facility. Uh, this place just opened up. Yep, we just opened up last week. Um, you guys are having fun back here. Goofballs, I'm telling you. Uh, and this is one of the only facilities in this area, and there's only a few here in the U.S. Well, we're up to about 25 now here in the U.S., um, but we got a little over 50 worldwide. Okay, so lead flight instructor. Uh, it makes me feel a little bit better after I found out how many years you've been doing this, too. Yeah, about 13 years now. Uh, I've got over 20,000 hours in the wind tunnel. Um, I've contributed to this company flying over 7 million people uh, over the last 18 years now, total. And, and I know Christian said that this is for adrenaline junkies, but you guys do this for everyone, every age range. Yeah, most of our most of our customers tend to be family. We'll get as young as three years old, uh, as old as 103. I think we just had one over 108 last week. 108! Can you imagine somebody that old getting in this thing? Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Now, is there any restrictions for people that may want to come out here and do this? Uh, we do have a couple. Uh, you can find those on our website, uh, dealing with age, pregnancies, uh, weight. So check the website, iFlyWorld.com. Absolutely. Sounds so much fun. Can't wait to get in there. I'm going to be in there. Really hot fun. this weekend, but we have something very cool you can do right now. Yeah, iFly, a new indoor skydiving facility, is now open in White Marsh. Our Adrian Green is there and joining us now. Adrian, are you about to head in? She looks scared. <laughs> she does look a little. Uh, I'm going. I'm. I, I got my hair back in a ponytail. I am ready. Uh, so the next time you see me after this time, I'm going to go in there. But I'm all suited up. I've still got Chris here with me. We went through a uh, little bit of an abbreviated yeah. safety course. Yeah, uh, so course. everyone has to do this, right? Yeah. Before your first flight, you're going to go through a class. You'll learn a little bit about the body position of how to fly. You'll learn about the hand signals that we're going to use to communicate with you. And then we bring you out here and get you geared up in all this safety equipment. Yeah, so I got a helmet, I got goggles, earplugs, and then obviously the suit. And check out these cute little tiny suits. We talked about the three-year-olds that come out here sometimes. So from small to large, you got every size, everything in between. Uh, so really cool stuff. Now, what are they got? What are the guys doing right now? Right now, okay, so these are some of our more advanced instructors. I'm not gonna do that? Not today. <laughs> But you can work your way up to that. We do do classes that eventually will get you there. We do kids clubs. We do all abilities nights where we have uh, all sorts of fun stuff going on. What kind of things can I expect once I go in there? Yeah. I know it's got to be very loud. We've got the earplugs. I'm not going to hear anything. We've got the hand signals down. What else can I expect? So when you first get in, obviously there's a lot of wind. But it's spread out over your whole body, so it's, uh, it's, it's almost like you're just kind of floating on a column of air. It's very comfortable. The more you relax, the easier it gets, and then we can start actually progressing and learning a little bit. Uh, I can't wait to see what I'm going to be getting myself into here in a little bit. Uh, so next time you see me, I'm going to be in there. Uh, Chris is going to be with me, so I'm not, I'm not going in there alone. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I'll send things back to the studio for now, but uh, next time you see me, I'm going to be in there, guys. I wish we could speed I know. up time. <laughs> I cannot wait to see this. She, she said she, they learn hand signals before they go in. Mm -hmm. I feel like the only one I'll need is just like, stop, <laughs> right, stop wrap, the fun. That's a wrap. I'm done. Right. <laughs> Turn it up. Uh, well, that'll be fun to watch for thrill seekers. Okay, indoor skydiving now open the new facility in White Marsh. ABC 2's Adrian Green is live at iFly. Go get him, Adrian. Uh, yeah, I'm all suited up. I'm ready to go. I'm going to preface this. I have not been in there. I have not practiced. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to hand this off to Alex. He's going to give the play-by-play -play while I'm in there, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, Chris is getting her into the proper body position for flight, and there she is. She's flying. 
He's delivered the dream of flight to another person. Look at her go. She's doing great. She looks like she's loving it. <laughs> they're not going to be able to get her out of there. They're, uh, they're going to have to say, OK, your time is up. Well, there's definitely a way to do it, because you saw them adjusting her hands and her feet. Can you it's imagine really cool. the power of whatever engine or blower is, is blowing that air up, straight up? I mean, that is just amazing that they could build something like that. There she goes. She's by herself doing it. <laughs> wow. He's clapping his hands. So I think she's doing well. Oh, my gosh. And Adrian is. He's all smiles. She is such a lover of, like, the weather and the weather conditions. She is going to be. <laughs> all right. Gonna, she's uh, coming back okay, out. Okay. They got her. Yeah, Oof. Know how it works. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was okay. so crazy. Oh, uh, I really don't even know what to say. Awesome. That was amazing. Awesome. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm going to send it to Lynette now. Uh, I think yeah. you're up next, Lynette. Yeah, Are you uh, heading on out here now? Yeah. How are you going to follow that? Morning, Marilyn, this morning. Well, At Adrian least is. Adrian yeah. is. Right. If you ever wanted to fly but didn't want to jump out of a plane, you're in luck. I didn't even know places like this existed. I have yeah. never heard of something right. like this Right. Now until we've today. got one here. An indoor skydiving center just opened in White Marsh. Our own Adrian Green is live at iFly. Adrian, how was it? I'm going back in there. This time I'm going to go join the guys, so we'll see how this goes this time. I'm going to hand the microphone off to Jamie. All right, let's do it. Well, this is pretty unique. She has uh, teamed up with a couple of instructors now, and she's past the beginner stage, now forming a star. Amazing. You have a rock star in your hands. I'm still interested right in how fast um, those winds are. Yeah. The Look winds are going. I mean, she's going to be an instructor. A three year old by the child takes a lot less. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So, so it varies depending on the size of the people going in there. Exactly. A three-year-old child takes a lot less wind than Shaquille O'Neal would take to fly. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we and, get and we've had them both, three-year-olds and Shaq. No way. Three-year-olds get in there? <laughs> yes, three to 103. We're quite serious. And people of all abilities. We have amputees and quadriplegics and wounded warriors all come and fly. That's pretty cool. This How is do for the three everybody. Olds usually react when they're in there? Are they fearless or are they a little nervous? They're fearless because at three years old, this is normal. This is all they've seen. <laughs> they haven't had time to worry about anything. And so they do great. They really do. And Adrian, like I say, to be in there flying, doing a star with instructors, it's. Uh, She's going to be doing stunts. It's amazing. On it is just soon. amazing. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get Adrian out of sure. there. <laughs> Here she comes, I think. There she comes. I think. Wow. I could be wrong. Here she comes. <laughs> okay. That is yep. amazing. Here oh she my is. Gosh. <laughs> I almost wasn't going to come back uh, out here. Uh, and I might not come back to the station. <laughs> I think I found a good. Uh, a new calling in life. I don't know. This is amazing, guys. Uh, we'll set wow. things back to the studio. I'm definitely going back in there for a little bit more, though. <laughs> <laughs> way so too cute. much fun. You're having way too much fun. Way too much fun. Yeah, I'm going to take it from here. Back to the boring studio with me, right? Here we go. Wah, wah, wah. Adrian, I feel like I could answer this question for you, but are you having fun this morning? <laughs> Oh, guys, I've had so much fun here this morning. Uh, Chris now presenting me with a certificate. I've done it. Congratulations. You're a pro now. <laughs> I'm a pro. Uh, not lead flight instructor, but I still uh, think I did OK. <laughs> All right, I can't get it up, so I'm going back in there. I'm going to hand off the microphone. Uh, I think Jamie's going to talk a little bit about some of the programs that they have here going on with STEM and uh, All Abilities Night. So lots of cool things going on here at iFly. I'm going back in, all right? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's doing it again. <laughs> she can't.
can't get enough. Oh, they're There's never no going to get her out of this woman. place. Okay, I want to see what she does this time, because she's like a pro now at this thing. Wow. As you can see, Chris has been able to release her right off the bat. She's doing great. So how do you go up yourself? Like, you know, like, is she able to do it herself, go up, or does he have to pull her up? Is he pulling her up like that? Right now, during what we call the high flight section, yes, she's, she's basically riding up there, okay. but she's maintaining a great body position. And uh, as you saw, Chris has released her, and she's been flying by herself quite well since the very beginning. It's, it's pretty impressive. So how experienced do you have to be to um, be on your head like the other guys were earlier? When can you start doing some tricks in there? Well, her instructor, Chris, has 13 years of flying experience, and the other instructors that we're flying have, have many, many years of flying to be able to accomplish that level of flying. And it's part of their passion. They love to do two things, teach. That's a wonderful thing about iFly and indoor skydiving is sharing the experience is a big part of the instructor's lives and then getting better, of course. And uh, we have goals of, of building a sport and becoming an Olympic sport one day. I got to tell you, I'm impressed by the technology and, and the, the, the airflow that's keeping her up in the air like that. That's, that's got to be a pretty complex system you guys have put together out there. It is. We have 37 patents, and we actually use this as a base of instruction for grades K through 12 in a STEM course that we mm. teach to the local kids and Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. So you're right. It's loaded with technology and, and fun. Yeah, so it seems like a place that uh, Here so she comes. groups of students go to. Uh, so this has been so amazing. <laughs> Everyone, you guys need to come out here and try this out. I fly in white bars. Uh, just opened up. So, so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a fun morning. I will send things back to the I studio love now. looking at her little hair poking through the helmet. It's so windy. We're never getting her back. She's going to be there all day today. What a She's cool probably place, got a though. different live shot scheduled for next Friday. And we're going to go toss to her, and there she'll be flying in right. the thing again because she never left. Wow. That, that was, is that's really, really neat, though. It's really impressive what they put together.